So I just love blue and white chinoiserie. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how you can decorate any room of your home using blue and white chinoiserie accents. Now I have an open floor plan home, so I'm going to be decorating my living room, dining room, and my home office using some of my newest blue and white chinoiserie pieces. So let's get started. So before I start decorating with my blue and white chinoiserie, I want to remind you guys what my home office looks like right now. Now this footage is of my home office after I finished my open floor plan makeover where I painted this room Repose Gray by Sherwin Williams. So while it looks great from a decor perspective, this room is definitely missing some additional furniture. So when I first moved into the house, I decided to just furnish it with the most essential pieces. And then I was going to go back in later and add in all of the accents. All right, so here's what the space is looking like now, and I am very pleased with it. So the bookcase in the center is a solid wood piece that I found at Value City Furniture, but it's tall and a little on the narrow end. And initially, I envisioned like a bookcase that would kind of span the width of the room without being visually heavy and without being, you know, thousands of dollars. So what I decided to do was to purchase two Sonder bookcases in estate black finish, and those are two tier bookcases, and it's a about 28 I believe inches high now the height that I was going for was 31 inches but this is as close as I could find so when it comes to quality that's where things get a little bit dicey now this product is made of engineered wood so it is not a solid wood piece and it's definitely not going to have the same type of longevity but when you consider the price you're paying for it I think it is a good value now I have used several sounder pieces in the past and I've not had very many issues with mine but I can say that they'll hold up so long as you don't move so the next thing I added to this space was some wall art. I happened to find these paper sculptures at Home Goods, and they have a plexiglass cover. I thought these would be a nice addition to my room because they're just going to brighten up the space a little bit and it's gonna add some texture to the wall without being distracting. All right, so now I'm gonna start styling my bookshelves. So for the bottom row, I keep all of my large books and then I put those smaller books that are kind of swallowed up with the large shelving size. I put those and mix them in with the decor just so that it's a little bit more visually interesting. Now I do have several collections of books like sets of readers and so I like to group those together because they'll be a similar size and it makes it a little bit easier for me to style a vignette. So I'm just going to stand up this set of books and I'm gonna use my alabaster spheres as bookends. On this row I'm going to turn my books to the side to create a platform and then I'm going to top the stack of books with my brass holiday. All right, so now it's time to start adding in a couple of chinoiserie pieces. Now I found both of these pieces at my local home goods and I like the unique shapes that they have and they both have a kind of a round effect to them. So I thought they would complement each other nicely and I like the dark blue color and patterns. All right, so I'm liking the way my shelves are coming together so far, but I decided to add in just one more piece of chinoiserie. Now I happened to find this smaller white bud vase at my local Hobby Lobby, and I thought this would be a nice addition to my vase collection. I think that having the white chinoiserie paired with the blue chinoiserie would really add a nice contrast and would really make everything pop. All right, so now I'm gonna start adding in just a few more pieces to bring the look together. Now this is one of my newer chinoiserie finds. I happened to pick up this uh, piece at my local Hobby Lobby and I was really attracted to the shape. And also I was looking for smaller pieces that would comfortably fit on my shelf. All right, so a few months ago, I posted a Shin Rosbury haul video and I happened to find this small white jar and I thought it would be really nice for my bookshelf as well. Now, I really love the pattern on it because it's very unique and it's mostly white with two different tones of blue. So I thought it was really pretty and I can't wait to use it. 
All right, so I wanna show you guys a set of decorative boxes that I purchased from amazon.com that I thought would be a nice addition to my home decor collection. And I think that they might work nicely with my Shinrazeri video. So I found this set of decorative boxes and I thought they were really cute. I like the fact that there were two of them with different sizes. Um, the top of it has this beautiful like straw-like texture to it, which I was really impressed with. And I did like the fact that it had like a mid-tone wood and also some leather detailing along with the brass nail head trims. So I am really happy with the variety of color and texture this piece is adding. But I will say that there's a little bit of inconsistency with the varnish on the wood. So um, I didn't like that about it. And also the box is super lightweight, so it's not gonna be very sturdy. I think it's great for a decorative piece, but definitely I would not recommend a piece like this for heavy usage. So I thought it would be nice to pair my trinket box from World Market in brass with this decorative storage box and I thought it would be great for my office because I already have like those brass lamps. All right, for the second bookshelf, I wanna create a completely different shape over here. I'm wanting a single piece that's going to span the majority of the width of this shelf, but also it's gonna have a little bit of height to it. And I want the overall shape to be very different um, from the box shape that I have on the other side of the room. And I wanna make sure that it has some kind of earthy or wood tone element because I want it to kind of pair nicely with the decorative box on the other side. So I decided to put in a piece of drift wood because it's very bright and it's going to pop against the dark background. All right, here is the final look for the office and in just a moment we're going to start moving over to the dining So I happened to find a set of vintage William Sonoma dinner plates and I was so excited to order these a couple of months ago because I was thinking they would be perfect for this video. Now I do love a good chinoiserie uh, look and I do love the blue and white floral dinner plates that I normally use. However, I wanted something really different and I think the pattern on this plate is very unique and so I thought it would be something that would be so perfect for this chinoiserie video. Now it is a very thick um, ceramic plate and it has a nice little groove so that I can fit in a good salad or appetizer plate right in the center. Now I am mixing china here. I have a vintage plate that I'm mixing with a more contemporary plate that I purchased from Wayfair but because they're both fairly thick pieces of porcelain I think that they're going to pair well together. All right, so here is the piece that I have been waiting on this whole time. I ordered the set of vintage um, William Sonoma placemats, and I really love this pattern. I actually have some napkins with the same pattern, but they have a pink color to them. But anyway, this has like a beautiful denim almost uh, type color in the center, and then it has like a little pop of almost a periwinkle blue. It has a healthy amount of black in it as well, and cream. And so I thought this would be really great to add a little bit of flair to my chinoiserie tablescape. I also picked up these two vintage Bombay and Company salad plates to complete the look. All right, so now let's take a look at how everything came together and be sure to leave a comment in the box below and let me know what you think of my mix of patterns and color.
today's video is a part of a blue and white chinoiserie collaboration. The title of this collaboration is how to decorate any room with blue and white porcelain. The hosts for this collaboration are Glamour Ellen and myself, Danielle, the domestic scientist. The co-hosts are Life on Greenwood with Karen 1310, Gigi Faison for the love of decor, DD Mom Boss, The Rogers House, Inspired by Chanel, The Glamorous Firm, Renters Live Luxury by Ian, Sister Cousins Lifestyle, Joy Candy, Mike and Vale's Life, and Elegant Designs by B. I'll have a link to each of the host channels in my description box, as well as a link to the collaboration playlist. Be sure to check out the other blue and white Shinrazri chic videos. I am not big on decorating my coffee table, so I'm really just learning how to do it. So one of the first things I knew is that I needed to get a coffee table book. And a lot of people have the fashion coffee table books out there, you know, the Chanel's and the Louis Vuitton's and everything. And while I do love fashion, it's not my primary passion. And it's not something that most of my guests would be interested in I wanted to find something that I thought was culturally significant for me but that was also still trendy so I found this children's photography coffee table book and it is full of great inspiring images of a lot of african-american children but it's also a very multicultural book and I thought this would be really unique and then the second thing I found which is probably for me the most exciting is I found a coffee table book about princess Diana I had no idea this was out here the forward was written by Nelson Mandela who's someone else I really admire and so I'm so excited to be adding this to my collection. All right, so the last item that I wanna show you I'm going to feature in my living room is this brass lamp from Ralph Lauren. Now I happen to find this at my local home goods and they have um, a floor lamp version of this at Restoration Hardware. So when I saw the tabletop version, I knew it was perfect for me because I'm trying to be unique on YouTube, but it's kind of hard because we all shop at home goods. So these are pillow covers that I purchased from Amazon and I got some dark blue pillow covers and also a blue and white Shinrazri print cover. I'll have a link to each of my Amazon products that I purchased for this video in my description box below. All right, so some of these YouTube videos require a lot of shopping. And the other week I happened to be at Home Goods with my husband and he spotted this beautiful vase with the open cutouts. And so he decided to pick that up. And so I'm gonna do a very simple hydrangea floral arrangement and my hydrangea stems I got from Hobby Lobby. The other thing we found together when we were out shopping at Home Goods is this beautiful soapstone sculpture. And this is kind of like another play on the Unity sculptures that I love so much. So here's the final look at my living room. So I am just loving the way this look has come together across my open floor plan home between the living room, the dining room and the office. I have healthy amounts of cream and blue and white and of course the blue and white chinoiserie. So leave a comment in the box below and let me know which room is your favorite.
I'm Danielle, the Domestic Scientist. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.